welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Wild Arms. Uh, so as promised in the last episode, uh, I did go through um, and get enough cash to get everyone the weapons I wanted. Um, so they all have uh, the best stuff I can buy from the shop at this point. Um, I also uh, made sure to, to get myself a little bit of extra cash, um, which means I'm, a, I'm slightly more leveled than I was previously, which should help us out. Um, and so we can head off and continue on with the storyline. Um, so yeah, I, I still feel a little bit bad that I, I skipped the whole me wandering around grinding a bit. Um, oh, actually, yeah, speaking of that, I did get um, some new spells. Actually, I think I've showed those in the last episode. Um, it's been a couple of days. Um, so, so just in case I haven't, um, here are all the new spells. Um, Zubat increases my encounter rate, Pidgeotto attacks with wind, Ditto allows me to study the enemy's abilities, Abra warps me out of the dungeon. Uh, those are all the pretty much the ones I think that I might have missed. Um, so yeah, so we are going into Cage Tower now. And to get in, we have to use the key plate. Okay, uh, let's go... Oh boy. I'm getting serious uh, Legends of the Old, uh, um, Link to the Past vibes here. Alright, let's push that button. Back we go. Uh, what, what, what dungeon was it? I remember it was a tower dungeon. You had to go up to... Essentially it was like Death Mountain... But it was before Death Mountain, like I actually had that name. Um, it was in the Light World, and I can't remember like the name of the dungeon at all. Oh well. Anyway, um, yes, we do have these Hellhounds. Um, I fought them a bit. They're they're in they're one of the monsters you fight in the in the hub world. Uh, so I have seen them a few times. Uh, again, I I do love the design of all the, the enemies in this game. Um, it, it's very well done. It's, it's colorful. It's fun. It's interesting. Ooh, and I, I get a crest graph. Cool. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, it's a battle. Ah, oh, just more hellhounds. Yeah, there weren't really too many um, enemies that I ha had to fight that we hadn't seen before. Um, so there were these hellhounds. Um, there was uh, the, uh, what the the creeps, the the Furby, flying Furby guys. The, I fought them a couple times, and then some larva, which we'll probably fight again later. So we'll, we'll don't worry, we'll we'll see them. Um, but then, aside from that, it was the Hellhounds. And so, uh, we haven't really missed too much in, in monster design, which is good. I, I'd feel bad if we did miss on the, out on that. Oh, hey, a button. Oh, button, button. Who's got the button? I don't know what that uh, helps me with, but I'm glad I found it. So yeah, essentially because I, I did that grinding, I can uh, deal a, a crap ton of damage with everyone at this point. Um, Joan Arc still isn't quite as powerful as uh, the other two, but we're working on it. We're going to get her there. I'm really looking forward to, to, to when we can have that happen. Again, the running mechanic comes into ha in handy. Just keep dashing back and forth, and you, you can get through the dungeons pretty quickly, which is nice. It's also nice, like um, again, to compare this to oh, here they are. Um, but to compare this to Link to the Past, um, in Link to the Past, you had to get the Hermes boots to uh, you know run in this game. In the game. 
um, oh, critters, that's what they're called. Here, though, you get a run immediately. It's a, it's a nice touch. It never, it never really made sense that Link couldn't run because he didn't have the right shoes. I mean, I know the shoes are supposed to be, you know, semi-magical. Give them extra speed, but... I mean... Comparatively, he's not running that much faster. So... But I'm probably just being nitpicky. Oh, goody. Falling blocks. I haven't seen those in games before. Oh, crap. <laughs> Alright, we got a round shield. Bullet clip. And, uh... Must be able to synchronize with an arm in order to open the arm case. Oh, okay. What's this? Prism laser. Ooh. Prism Ray. Oh, it attacks a group. Awesome. Uh, speaking of items, Round Shield increases defense and priority. Oh, okay. Uh, you're the only one that can use it. Cool. Again. Okay, let's see if we can... I'm just going to have a bit of fun here. Run and... No. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll walk. <laughs> oh, there we go again. I got it first try. Nice! I was totally guessing with how they wanted me to go down that path. Oh, that's good. We don't have to stay here while I, tr you know, take an extra couple minutes figuring it out. So, I could, like, run here, but, um, it's, it's a bit too narrow for my liking. Oh, here we are. Uh, that's the larva. Um, the unicorn Lava, I guess. And then we have Dekarabia, who's a magician coming out of a, a pentagram circle. Interesting design. <laughs> Handy meows. Oh, he makes a skeleton noise. Yeah, one, one of the things I like to do when I'm uh, grinding is I just like listen to a book or, or watch other videos. Um, at this point, like I've I've done so much grinding in other games, I just need like something to keep my mind active. Otherwise, it, it just gets really boring and you know repetitive. So. Counterattack. Well, this will kill it. I like how it's got the the two large teeth that also make it look like it has a, a mustache. Oh, it's a safe point. Perfect. I've got a crap ton of heal berries, so let's just heal everyone up. Get the range of that. Then, uh, save? In case, uh, I'm, I'm, there's probably going to be a boss here, so in case the boss uh, absolutely wrecks me or something. Again, we, we've pretty much reached the point where I don't really remember, um, like, 
exactly what happens. I, I remember... Okay, the sun rises from the east and sets in the west. The sun rises from the east again to light the path for the insecure. Alright, rises in the east. Sets in the west. And rises in the east again. Am I doing... Do I have East and West mixed up again? Yes, I do. Alright, so East. West. East again. Okay. Ooh, treasure chest. Hooray! Loot! Moves. Uh, let's just absolutely wreck one of them. It's like a butterfly mixed with a centipede with the name of a moose. Infrasonic? What, infrared sonic? Huh. I'm not quite sure how that would work, because infra infrared is a type of light and sonic is sound. How would sound and light cross over? I mean, then we have to get into the whole discussion of, okay, well, sound is a, is a wave through the air, whereas light... Um, I mean, there, there was this big argument in the scientific community, um, and I don't know if it's, it's been solved. This, this one, I have no clue about. But I know that um, there was a lot of discussion on, okay, is light a wave or is it particles? Um, and it was it was this large discussion in the scientific community, um, and I I'm, I can't remember like what the decision on it was. Goat dolls. What the hell are goat dolls? <laughs> well, I know what they. Look, I know what a goat doll is. I just don't know what it does in this game. Sacrifice to revive ally. Oh my gosh, that's dark. <laughs> Yes, we must sacrifice a go- oh, Man, I'm just picturing like a really bloody scene during the battle where like they have to draw a pentagram in blood and they sacri- Thankfully it's a doll, so it's more voodoo related, but... Yes, our heroes, everyone. Sacrificing dolls to revive enemies. Uh, revive- enemies, Revive themselves. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh dear. It's an it's a it's Al Hazad. I'm not too sure how comfortable I feel with that name, and he's the villain, but I can't change his name, so. So you're the humans working for the Guardians. You! The statue in the human town will be destroyed, unlike Bell Selk, I don't like making mess up things. Just to, just to my experiments in town, here you guys can play with my friend. I promise you won't be disappointed. Oh dear. Experiment. I am the terror that flaps in the night? I am the weirdo who sits next to you on the bus. Night Gaunt. Night Gaunt! Um, that's an actual uh, mythological creature. Um, isn't it the... the, the isn't it related to like the nightmare, where, where it was a, a it, was, it was this mythological idea of a horse that um, it was an evil horse that galloped through people's dreams and where it caused you uh, the scary dreams. Um, hence the nightmare. It was a female horse. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, meet your die view. You, uh, and then ditto and see what he's weak against. Night Gaunt. Level unknown. HP unknown. MP unknown. Weakness unknown. 
how helpful. Alright. This means we're essentially just gonna have to be given it a good old college try. Uh, let's try Pidgeotto first. Okay, that didn't heal him. That's good. Ouch. There's that dial-up sound again. Dive you, shoot him with the bullet. Um, okay, you do just you do would be bad, but uh, let's just use Pikachu. Seven. Uh, not as much damage. I know. Alright, uh, you have the fire rune, okay. You have the summit rune, and you have the water rune. Go okay. Just so I know what each of you is going to be summoning. Alright, let's see how this works. The bird v. bird fight! Well, flying versus flying fight, but... I think, because, you know, and... The night god is a, obviously a lizard. Of a, I haven't. I haven't actually looked. Does he have arms, or are his wings his arms? Okay, his wings are his arms. So he's a. Hello, you're badass. Uh, yeah. So he's he's a wyvern. Because because wyverns. Um, A, a traditional dragon has four legs plus wings, and a wyvern has two legs and wings. So uh, that's sort of the difference of the two. All right, let's see what Prism Light Ray looks like. And it looks like uh, Stoldark did the most damage, so... Uh, let, let's heal up first before we add extra defense. We're already pretty beefy, so... Two. Plus, I mean, if anyone dies, we can always sacrifice a goat. Gosh, the things you get to say when playing a game. Alright. Let's see if Cyclotrack does any more damage. Uh, lock on, and. Uh, let's heal again. Uh, job lane. Again, we, we leveled up pretty well, so I'm not, like, too worried, but... I've been fooled by bosses before. Summon the Guardian. Of course, I could add Holy. He is a Night Gaunt. I forgot that I had that spell. Silly me. Yeah, Stoldark always seems to be doing the most amount of damage to, like, everyone, so... Alright, uh... Meteor Dive, you... Now why don't you summon the Guardian, and... Uh, here. Clefairy Musashi, he's getting low. Denogenos. 
Ah, oh, he is so cool. Not much damage comparatively, but I'm not going to really complain. He's been awesome. All right, Prism Ray you and uh, there's Celebi on the Musashi. Of course, with my luck, this meteor dive is going to kill him. No. Oh, all right. Counterattack. Miss, of course. All right. Meteor dive again. Prism ray. Oh, and uh, you summon Stole Dark because he does the most damage, as stated before. Ah, there we go. Finally. Oh, I'm so disappointed in myself. Musashi went up a level, 3,500 kill. Ha <laughs> ha! Statue is in danger, we must get out of here. I wonder what Al Hazad meant by the experiment. Can we do something about this barrier? Oh, hello! Do you know the Night Gaunt is in this tower? Yes, I understand. So, this is the evil Night Gaunt. We're just like us, the bounty hunters. We apparently, killed the Night Gaunt. Master, what should we do? Yeah, do something, will ya? So, you want to get out, huh? How much is it worth to you? You yeah, have my bounty, and I need the cash. Money? You want money? We're trying to save the world, and you're asking for money. Break, I don't give a damn what you're trying to save. All I care about is money. It's as simple as that. Uh, how much do you want? How about 2,000 gela? There's no one that can pay that much. I don't care if do you want out or not. Uh, I am so curious what happens when I... I've got enough cash. Don't pay. What's going to happen when you say there? You know, one more time. You pay 2,000 gela or stay in there. Don't pay. Ah, uh, I'm forced to say it. All right, pay up. It's more like it. Watch this. Just like John Wayne, she uses an arm. I'm Jane Maxwell. I'm known locally as the most beautiful woman here next to my sister. She's known as Calamity Jane in some parts. This little girly is Calamity Jane. Strong girl. Don't tell me anything, Dolan. Excuse me. Money. We had a deal, remember? Don't hate me. See ya. All right. Um, and we will end this episode here. Uh, I'll probably start the next episode to have after having walked down the t back down the tower, just because then I can get some extra XP, and that's always good. So, um, as always, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please comment. Um, any ideas you have for the show, what game I might be interested in doing next. I'm always open to suggestions. Um, I already have a list being prepared. Um, but I'm, I would love to hear audience uh, ideas for what they would let me play next. Uh, so yeah, uh, please like if you did. Um, that was always nice. And uh, I hope you all have a very good day. Uh, bye.